Hi, we are AJ Space Systems from Krakow, Poland. Our team consists of 19 members from various fields of study, mechanics to biology. Today, we would like to present the project that we have been working on for the past five years, the planetary rover Karma. The robot suspension is a rocket design made of aluminium alloys and composite materials. The main drive motors are hidden inside the wheels which protects them from damage. Each wheel can be independently steered which allows us to control the rover very precisely, including rotating in place, driving in arcs, sideways and diagonally. We rely heavily on 3D printing technology and composite materials which allows us to reduce weight while preserving durability. Most notably, the wheels were printed from TPU, which provides them, along with their own cup structure, with properties perfect for rough terrain. The new power system allows us to instantly replace battery and monitor the condition. Similarly, a 3D printed rack system has been installed to make the most crucial electronic boards easily accessible and improve heat management. Each PCB has its own backup, tested and ready to be quickly mounted in case of an emergency. The rover has been fitted with an easily accessible red emergency button, which physically breaks the connection to the batteries, completely and instantly shutting off power. This year, the team is integrating new 6DOF manipulator. It features harmonic gears, PLTC motors and a decentralized control system. IK and path automation algorithms are also being implemented. The previously used arm is capable of lifting weights over 5 kg as well as very small tools and objects. The rover and arm can be controlled at the same time with two standard gamepads. Independently control turning weights allow us to quickly reposition the entire rover to each different elements on the servicing panel. The team has prepared a mock-up panel where operators are timed on completing a series of tasks such as placing objects in a drawer or typing on a keyboard. It also allows us to fine-tune the position of cameras used during these tasks. This year we completed the development of a dedicated software for managing video streaming from rover cameras. We utilized H.264 compression. RTSP protocol and native image handling for video streaming and displaying purposes. All subsystems are running in Docker containers. This allows us to quickly change the hardware on which the system is running in case of failure. Functionalities include taking photos and automatic panorama, making videos and managing the quality of video streams. Our autonomous system is based on ROS packages that were adjusted and modified to outdoor environments. The localization algorithm is based on GPS, IMU, as well as visual and wheel odometry. Data from the sensors is then merged by extended Kalman filter. For mapping purposes, we use an IR-based stereo camera. We test the autonomous traversal in a variety of difficult real-life environments to make sure that our system works irrespective of terrain type or weather and lighting conditions. Semantic segmentation of AR tags is performed by a neural network. Detected markers are then localized with respect to the rover. We also make extensive use of gazebo simulations. A continuous integration system significantly speeds up development by reporting most bugs before the software is deployed on the robot. During science task, soil samples are collected with dedicated scoop and vector and placed in sealable containers. The arm movement is automated in order to save time. Soil solution is then prepared and exposed to a series of chemical tests which can detect the presence of various biomarkers. A wide-angle panorama of the sampling site is easily captured thanks to the rover's ability to turn in place. All of our rover subsystems were thoroughly tested to ensure robustness and optimal performance. After confirming that all modules are operational, the rover has undergone a series of end-to-end -end tests to ensure our readiness for tough desert conditions. None of this would be possible without hard work of our team members, as well as support of our university, Ministry of Education and Science, and private sponsors. Thank you. See you in space.